Uh, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make topographic maps, how to read CSV files, and how to insert data points in ArcMap. Now, insert your uh, country shape file to the ArcMap layer. Um, I'm going to insert my country shape file. Now, you have to select uh, which area you're, go you're going to take your area of interest. Uh, I'm going to take or select three study three study area for my uh, research. So, so first you have to check uh, your data points where it belongs. Uh, in my country shape file, uh, in name two fields, I'm uh, I can found my study area points. Now I'm going back to the select by attributes option. Uh, now follow the process uh, I'm going to apply so I need the name of my area is Dhaka number one so I'm going to select it put comma and the second one is Gajipur uh, I'm going to select it also and then the third one is Narayan Ganj uh, and I'm going to put it also so uh, select the apply option and then close the select by attributes now I'm going to uh, uh, create a layer from the selected features and now you have to export the data into it into the shape file so I'm going to export the data Okay, study area boundary I have written. Now, okay, my layer has been exported to the layer option. Now, I'm going to uncheck the administrative file of my country and the selection file. Now, you can go to the la uh, layout view, which uh, by which you can make the map or by which you can show how your map is going to design. You are probably uh, already familiar with latitude or longitude, uh, but I would like to uh, I would like to go over it anyway, just to make sure that you are all thinking about it in the same way, and uh, that you really have an appreciation of how it works and how it helps us to describe location in the surface of the earth. So I'm going to open uh, the coordinates of my study points, uh, which are the your quality monitoring stations um, in these three areas. So just put your data in this format so that you can insert your CSV file uh, in the arc map and so that it can easily read your coordinates. So I'm going to import the CSV file into my layer. So as I saved it in the de desktop, so I don't have the folder connection to the desktop. Now I'm uh, connecting it. Uh, so import importing the coordinates to the layer. So first you need to display the XY data, which XY means the longitude and the Y means the latitude. So make sure your X field is uh, the longitude and the Y field is latitude. So, okay. So here you can see the points of my sample. Uh, I mean, uh, these are the points or coordinates of the yard ER monitoring stations uh, in these three uh, areas. So now uh, I'm going to add the base map, uh, a topographic map. Uh, it's a freely available here. 
so you don't have to download the topographic map from uh, the online or any other GIS data sources. It may take time because uh, it's a huge file and it uh, needs time. It needs time to load. So uh, I think uh, you have to wait for a few minutes. Yes, uh, the topographic map has been loaded here. Now I'm going to uh, change the color of my uh, area of interest. Yes. So now I'm going to change the uh, boundary of the of my area of interest. So you can use the dash line or the solid line. Uh, I'm going to use six to one dash line um, in my map, and I'm going to make it white as two. So okay. Now just follow the process uh, uh, and you can make easily a topographic map of your area, area of interest or you can make these map for your uh, research work or any other uh, project.
uh, so many of uh, of my subscribers have requested me to a video how you can make uh, how, how we can make a topographic map for their research area I think this video is going to help you in in your research uh, so that you can uh, show your uh, points uh, sample points and how to add the sample points to the uh, to the uh, to the shape file so I think it's very easy for uh, and it can uh, if you are a beginner so you have to know how to insert or how to import the data points into the shape file so that's all for today and uh, follow my channel to get the updates and i'm going to upload uh, some more extra videos of gst serials in future so keep safe and thank you so much